What is up everybody? Welcome back to another one. It is currently 108 degrees here in Texas. And yes, I am putting on my Maven binos and rangefinder because I'm going to sit in the deer blind. Uh, me and Angel realized a couple mornings ago that we are completely out of sausage, breakfast sausage. So she said, hey, we need to go get some breakfast sausage. So that's what I'm doing. We are going to see if anything comes in. Pigs, maybe a black buck, maybe an all dad, possibly even an oryx may show up. Uh, or an axis. There's no telling what's going to show up, but I got my new Bowtech bow, iron wool broadheads, and uh, we're going to go sit in the stand, see if we can get something down, make some sausage out of it. feeling whatever shows up if anything's gonna show up it's gonna show up right before the sun goes down because it's so hot so y'all stay tuned hopefully we get some meat on the ground Smoked her. Oh, smoked her, smoked her, smoked her. Got it done. 
sun, baby. It's so freaking hot. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get out of here. Oh, yes. 20. This thing is the clearest range finder I've ever used. Maven's new range finder. Freaking money. Oh, perfect. Give her a little bit of time. I'm gonna get out of here though, cause it's so dang hot. <sighs> All right guys, it's been a minute. And it's uh, pretty crucial that I find animals in this kind of heat very fast, so. Uh, there's already good blood. I walked out here earlier. I walked out here a minute ago. The arrow passed through perfect and skipped right over here. Really good blood, so hoping she didn't go too far. I replayed the shot multiple times and I was confident in it. So and I'm and I'm very confident in these iron wheels. Not even dinged up. I love it. Messed up a fletching. That's all right. Good blood. So I'm gonna get back over here on the blood trail, and like I said, I want to recover as fast as possible, get her guts out, and uh, Angel wants me to keep the liver, the heart, all that stuff. So I'm gonna do my best to recover as fast as possible. I think with that shot, I think with that shot, she's not going too far. And, uh, Sometimes you just never know though, so. We got really good blood. All through here. She came down. The last place I saw her was kind of in this bottom. And then I couldn't see any more through the, through the blind, so there's more. Just keep staying on this and uh, hopefully recover her. Pretty close. So that's long right there. Not more. She did good. I'm surprised I can't see her yet. They're so small they could be she could be dead in this grass and I'd never see her till I walk up on her, so Yes. Got her, guys. She she actually went a lot farther than I thought she would. I think it was more of a high long shot. Um, that's why it took a little longer. If I was just a hair lower, I don't think she would have gone more than 50, 60 yards. But she went mm, 200 yards, probably 150 yards. Yes. Oh, thank you, girl. Yeah, I can see the long blood coming out from here. The way you can tell it's long blood is really light pink and bubbly obviously there's oxygen um and that's what makes it kind of bubbly perfect exit awesome 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 thank you girl thank you we're gonna get it loaded up and uh Go cleaner and get her on ice uh, as soon as possible. So we got meat for the freezer. Make the we're gonna make the whole black buck into uh, sausage. They only you only get about uh, maybe 30 pounds of boned out meat, maybe 20, 25. Um, so super happy about that. That will definitely last us till elk season so got it done guys in 108 degrees it's not 108 right now uh, it actually feels pretty good compared to what it did earlier it's probably like 99 but man is it hot got it done with the new bow if you haven't watched the my 2022 bow build video y'all go check it out it was the last video i posted before this one um did that this week and came and got an animal with uh, the new bow so super pumped all 
All right, guys, I got her hung up. I'm gonna do a little time lapse for you guys. I'm keeping the skin. My buddy wants it to tan, so I'm gonna take my time a little more on the uh, skin. That's how you clean a black buck. Took about 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna fill this puppy with ice. And uh, leave it on ice for a couple of days. And then we'll process it. Guys, it is the next morning and uh, we're gonna do a little black buck heart tacos for breakfast. So I am taking the whole black buck, as you saw, it's in the cooler on ice. I'm gonna take it over to my local processor. They make some really good breakfast link sausages. Um, and I just don't have the time for it right now and it's way too hot to be in the shop processing meat. So I'm gonna take that over to him today, but uh, save the heart and we're gonna, eat it. we're gonna eat the heart for breakfast. And Ryder is ready. So all I'm doing is cleaning up this heart, cut all this nasty stuff off. And then uh, all this white stuff I cut off. And then all we're going to do is cut this heart up into chunks. Oh, mama. And uh, it'll be mixed in with some eggs. Oh, mama. And if y'all haven't seen my Dada. last video, if y'all haven't seen my last video, all five of the new Molt Man spices are up and live. So y'all go check those out at moltman.net. All right, so we got some eggs beaten. We got some onion, some mushrooms, and our heart. So I'm gonna take this and dice it up into little tiny pieces, and then we'll fry those up in some butter, and then we'll put the uh, eggs, and then we'll add the mushrooms and the onions in there as well, and uh, cook it all down. Then we'll add our eggs as the last step. It'll be one big mixture. We'll put it in a taco shell, and uh, put a little salsa on it, and it'll be good to go. So. We are gonna use the all critter. This is my my number one favorite. All critter. But y'all go check them out. We got the new ones is the Cajun, the steak, and the all critter. Uh, we're selling a five pack. If you buy four, you get one free. So y'all go check it out, moltman.net. All right, we got butter melted in the pan. We're gonna go ahead and drop this cubed heart in. We're gonna drop these mushrooms and onion in as well. Get it seasoned up with some all fritter. Let those cook down. And then we will throw our eggs in. And once the eggs are done, we'll heat up some tortillas, add some cheese, and make some breakfast tacos. Alright guys, our mushrooms and onions have cooked down. Now we're gonna take our egg. Go right over the top, mix that all together. That was only like four four or five eggs. We're just gonna mix this in with the heart, the onions, and the mushrooms. And once that egg's done cooking, you're ready to make your tacos. All right guys, everything is done. We got us a little flour tortilla 
Just heat them up right on your, even if you have a gas, gas grill or a gas oven or a gas stove top. Just throw your tortilla right on the flames. Get it heated up, perfect. Just crisp it up a little bit. We shredded some cheese over the top. Take us some of this. Just like that. Little Valentinas. And that is a Deer Heart Taco for breakfast. One out of 10. Out of all the heart dishes that we've done on this channel, what is this one gonna rate? That's amazing. I love heart. Give that a solid eight, eight for deer heart. That is delicious. If you want a new breakfast recipe, you shot an animal the night before, it's about as fresh as heart gets right here. You like it? Yes, a lot. What do you rate it? Well, like probably an eight because- You've never had heart. I don't know, but I've had liver and it beats it's liver. better than liver. She's been <coughs> eating a lot of chicken livers or beef liver. Both. Both. And uh, I'm not a fan of liver, so heart, I am a fan of. Heart is amazing. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, y'all go check out the new spices there up on the website, moltman.net. Uh, you can do a bundle of two, pick any two spices, or you can do the bundle of five and get all five of our spices. So y'all go check out the website. I'll catch you in the next one. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.